Dude, what is that? What the fuck? Holy shit, I think that's a person. Dude, there's three of them. Dude, what the fuck's going on, man? Wait, zoom in. If a person nearby experiences dizziness or a sensation of weightlessness, you should immediately retreat as far away from the person as possible. If you begin to experience dizziness or a sense of weightlessness, retreat from nearby people. We currently have no understanding of why the floating occurs or what's causing it. Larger populations seem to trigger the floating more than smaller gatherings implying the phenomenon can be transmitted like an infection. Quarantining yourself at home or with a small group seems to slow the spread. Oddly enough, animals and insects aren't affected. The phenomenon seems to only affect humans. There is no set floating distance for the infected. The altitudes they float at oscillate, sometimes floating as high as 200 feet or floating only three feet from the ground. You must always be vigilant. A floater's height changes throughout the day. Attempts at communicating with the floaters have led to minimal results. They appear to be in a comatose state. Although on a few occasions, floaters have been documented muttering incoherent words or making facial contortions. Whether they are aware of what's happening to them, or actually in a comatose state, remains unknown. The number of floaters have been increasing over the last few months. Its origin remains a mystery. All we can do is quarantine and hope that our research uncovers a breakthrough.